Hey, this is Brendan, your instructor for the built-in function series. And in this video, I wanted to go over my biggest takeaway from creating this series and what I've learned over the past year going in depth on every single Python built-in function. Are you ready? Perfect, so I'll just tell you that my biggest takeaway has been that all of these built-in functions often have way more optional arguments than you're probably aware of. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's just take the open built-in function. And you're probably aware of how to open files with, uh, by specifying the file and the mode for read-write. But did you know that there's like five or six optional arguments where you can specify uh, the encoding, how you're going to handle errors, etc. So that's just one. And there, there's many more. So let's say uh, min and max. Did you know that there's two completely different ways to use min and max? And maybe you're only aware of how to use one way. Um, and you might not know that this other way exists until you look at the docs or at a video like this. Now let's open up the terminal and just try a few of these out, give you some more examples. So another one might be int, super common built-in function. And you've probably used it before to wrap it around a string and return an int. But did you know that you could specify a base? So we could do base equals 20, and we're actually going to modify the response, modify the output. And again, you could do say base 30, and again, you're modifying the output. So this is just another tool that you're gonna have available to you. Um, let's look at one more. So let's just say I had all the seasons. I had a list of strings with the seasons. I think some people are aware of the enumerate function. Uh, so you could do something like dict, enumerate, uh, wrap that around our seasons. And here we go, we have a dictionary uh, with keys as numbers incrementing and our values as our seasons, right? So zero spring, one summer. But did you know that you could pass a optional argument called start here? And I'll put in the value of one. And now we're starting at one and it's one spring, two summer, three fall, etc. So just another example of an optional argument changing the output. So what I'd encourage you to do is for the built-in functions that you use most regularly, Take a look at the docs, take a look at my videos and see if there are some optional arguments or some alternative ways of doing things that you just weren't aware of when you first started uh, using these functions. So that's pretty much it. Uh, my big takeaway about learning about the optional arguments for some of the most common built-in functions. And other than that, um, I hope you enjoy this series and thank you for watching.